Hi you guys, I'm Katie Farrell from Dashing Dish and today I'm going to um, talk to you guys about have you ever believed a lie about yourself? Now a lot of times I think people when they think about lies, you know, it's like a di directly spoken lie by somebody but there are so many different ways that we can believe or receive a lie about ourselves. And I'm going to talk about um, that this uh, from my book Nourish which has um, basically, it, Nourish talks about everything related to the health of our soul and also our body because I believe that we're a three-part being, so we're spirit, soul, body. And so uh, not only do we have to get healthy in our body, but I believe we have to get healthy in our soul first, and that is the first key to finding true health in our bodies. And so I'm going to um, head over to the next chapter. Last week we talked about, um, you know, nourishing the garden of our soul. And so our uh, we talked about the garden being like our, our hearts or our minds where we kind of have to get out all the weeds. And so if you remember that, make sure you leave a comment. And then I'm going to talk a little bit more going, going into the garden of our soul this week from chapter 4. And... Um, you know, some of the things that we could receive as a lie would be um, words that we've believed and they can come in the form of different ways. So for me, um, I share my testimony in the beginning of this book where I talk about how a boy actually came up to me. I was in a new school, a new town. We just moved and um, he he had handed a piece of paper to me and he said, in case you don't know, this is what you look like. And at the time I was a skinny young teenager. I was like 14 years old. And honestly, I just didn't know my identity in Christ. And so I... I basically took that piece of paper, I unfolded it, and it was a grotesque picture of a woman that was overweight, and I believed and received that lie at that time. And so I had this picture painted on the inside of me that I was overweight and that I needed to lose weight. And so I started to try different diets that I had heard about, and of course, that's never a good thing. Um, I kind of heard little bits and pieces and tried different things. Um, so I cut out bread completely, and uh, it, it happened little by little. and. So basically what ended up happening is I almost got to the point where I was eating almost nothing and I was hiding food, pretending like I was eating it, and all of the things that go along with anorexia. And then if you go on reading the rest of my story, I went through different uh, various eating disorders, but also dis different forms of disordered eating in general, like emotional, binge eating, all of these things. And I believe that it all really started with believing that one lie. And of course, you know, the Bible tells us that Satan is the father of all lies. And so all lies um, actually come from the enemy. And I believe that he, you know, the Bible talks about how the enemy uh, roams about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. And so he's looking around, looking for somebody that he can prey upon that doesn't know who they are, doesn't know their identity. And so like I shared, I was 14 at the time. I really didn't know, you know, who I was yet and so I believe the enemy kind of used that boy to speak that lie into me at an early age and then that led me down the path of eating disorders and so why is it important that we talk about lies that we've received or believed when it comes to our health um, and I believe that really everything that we do all of our actions all of our behaviors ultimately come from the starting point in our minds. And so whatever we're believing about ourselves, you know, if we believe I'm overweight and I'll never break free from being overweight, I'll be overweight the rest of my life, you know, I've tried so many times before and I failed, you know, things like that. If we believe these lies, then ultimately our actions will follow our thoughts and we will never break free. And so that's why I talk about the first things first in the beginning chapter of my book, uh, you know, dealing with the, the, the root issues, the weeds in our garden, so to speak, or the, the roots and uprooting the things that are in our minds and in our hearts. Because if we don't deal with the health of our soul first, then ultimately our actions will never follow to take care of our bodies properly. So I'm going to read from this chapter and I'm going to talk about um, uh, why I believe it's so important to uproot these lies. Um, it, I said, um, I believe it is most critical that we pay attention to what's going on in our mind because it is our thoughts that ultimately dictate the outcome of our will and emotions. The way that we think can cause a cascade effect that ultimately shapes the direction of our lives. For example, one thought that has the ability to formulate a purpose in our heart 
that is then played out in our actions. And over time, our actions become our habits and our habits make up our character. And our character shapes the way that we live our lives. So, you know, I talk about uh, next in this chapter how for me, a lie that I had also believed was that I could never do anything that was athletic or um, active because when I was a teenager, um, I, I think it was like middle school, one of my gym teachers told me, Katie, you're never going to be able to hit the ball if you're, if you're, you know, ducking like that. And it was during volleyball during one of our gym classes. And she just spoke so many negative words over me that over the years, I honestly started to believe that, you know, I, I would never be able to do anything that was active or physical. I would never be good at sports. So why even try? And so then what that happened, what happened was over the years, I never even tried to do anything that was active or athletic because I just believed those lies that I had received through that teacher that I would never be good at anything. And so, um, you know, my thoughts dictated my actions and my behavior and the choices that I made. So even when people would play volleyball on the beach, I would always count myself out and I'd be like, no, I can't hit the ball. I can't do it. And so have you guys ever done that where, you know, you, you believe something in your mind and then that dictates your actions and your behavior that follows. And it wasn't until I was, in uh, high school that I had I was forced to take a gym class um, people said to me uh, or my counselor said to me you know you have to join this gym class and if you don't then you won't uh, go through uh, graduating high school and so I was like oh no I have to graduate so I have to take this gym class so what ended up happening was I uh, did a um, class that it was aerobic style, it wasn't gym class, it wasn't sports, and I actually loved it. I fell in love with it. And um, there were so many fun classes that we did. We did like kickboxing and dance and all kinds of stuff that really didn't involve balls. And so I automatically thought, okay, I can do this. And so um, long story short, I ended up uh, loving group fitness. And so then I started taking more classes on my own outside of just this one high school class. And then that led into years later, now I'm 32, where I still love group fitness classes and it's still something that I look forward to to this day. In fact, I did one this morning. And so, um, you know, I really had to uh, experience something different in order to change the lie that I had believed about myself, that I wasn't able to do anything athletic. But for um, what I talk about in Nourish is going back to finding the lies that we've believed and identifying those lies. And once we do that, how do we practically uproot them? How do we get them out of the soil of our heart or our mind, so to speak? And I talk about how we do that is renewing our minds with the Word of God. Because if you've ever believed a lie in any area, any area of your life, the only way to get rid of that lie is to replace it with the truth. And the ultimate truth is God's word because it's his word spoken to us. And so I talk about how to practically renew our minds, how to uproot these lies, and, and how to dig deep and get, get these things um, you know, transformed in our minds so that we're able to find God's good, acceptable, and perfect will in every area of our life, including our health and our bodies. And I guarantee that once you start to see yourself differently on the inside, once you start to see yourself as God sees you, then suddenly you'll experience victory like never before. Um, you'll start to be able to say, you know what, I can lose weight. I can, um, you know, participate in a group fitness class. I can be athletic. Whatever lie that you had believed that, you know, maybe you can't break free from something, whatever it may be, um, you'll begin to see the truth that is painted on the inside of you from reading and meditating on God's word. And so again, I talk more about this in my book, Nourish, and I wanted to do a little giveaway because it is the month of December. So if you guys um, are tuning into this live broadcast or if you're tun tuning into the recording, because today I had to come on early. Um, I'm actually babysitting my nephew Easton today, and so things kind of had to get shifted around as moms do. But um, if you're uh, catching the recording of this as well, then today only I am getting um, I'm giving away a advanced copy of Nourish. So you will actually receive it before Christmas. You'll receive it, um, you know, I'll send it out this week in the next few days. So if you 
would like a copy and I'm giving away just one, then make sure you comment on either the live video right now or you comment on the recording about a takeaway that you learned today and also maybe uh, something that you have learned that is maybe an area that you've believed a lie um, in, in a way that you know God has transformed you. So if you leave a comment um, about uh, anything that we talked on today, then I will uh, choose one winner and I will get this book into your hands before the holidays and it makes a great gift for family or friends or also for yourself for the new year. So I hope that you guys have a wonderful rest of your Monday and if you would like to check out my book head over to nourishbook.com. I hope you guys have a wonderful Monday. Thanks for joining friends.